Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. And even though it's only October, today we get our first look at iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 1 and Public Beta 1 as well. Apple released that to public beta testers too. It adds Deep Fusion for the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Tons of small UI tweaks and changes that feel super nice. And Announce Messages with Siri is back. So if you're looking forward to this video, if you wanna see what's new in iOS 13.2, drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more. All right, so starting things off here, I had to give Deep Fusion a try. So I shot a couple of things in medium light, just what Apple says the mode is for. I shot one photo on my iPhone 11 Pro on iOS 13.1.2 and the other photo on my iPhone 11 on the newest iOS 13.2 beta one. So in the 13.2 photos, that is with the new mode activated. And if you zoom in here, first this is the normal photo. I can't really tell a difference until you get close because this is all very detail oriented. Get a little bit closer. Okay, there might be a difference. Then on this one, you can tell some of the letters are definitely more fuzzy on iOS 13.1.2 than on iOS 13. Point to. But the much clearer example I found was actually when you used a human subject or like not a, a sweater like Apple demonstrated, but just like a piece of clothing with some details in the fabric. So uh, on this print right here for the Entity Social Social Club shirt I have on, you can see clearly uh, the detail is retained much better to a, to a much higher extent on iOS 13.2 at a rate that's pretty impressive. Like your camera just got more detailed through a software update, especially when you go this close. So you can really see the difference between these two photos, which is crazy because they're actually shot on the exact same camera module. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Is Deep Fusion everything it's cracked up to be? I would argue it, it just could be. Next up over in Control Center, you probably saw this one a second ago. If you have AirPods connected or a number of devices, Apple's now gonna highlight that for you here. Now in iOS 13.1, they added this where they would show it to you in the actual volume heads up display, but now it is presented to you straight away in control center as well. Also in control center, the volume icon now replaces the iPhone icon and text. So this is 13.1.2 on the left and in 13.2, Apple has not only removed that icon and sort of pushed it up to the top, which doesn't actually dynamically change, a bit weird, this one does dynamically change, which is cool, but they've also removed the iPhone icon in general. And here's a look, I think the icons are also a bit bigger, like the volume speaker and then the sun in iOS 13.2 rather than in 13.1 or 13.1.2. So really hard to see, but they are a bit larger in this update. Also new for the volume heads up display is that when you only touch it once, there's a new animation whenever it fades out. So the fade in is pretty similar, but fade out a little bit different. You'll notice that that is not actually retained though if you do multiple ups or downs, which I feel like most people are gonna do. If you're just doing one up or one down, you got a nice little fade animation just like that. So there's a lot of good attention to detail like this in iOS 13.2. For a while, Apple has been working on a research app where you could participate in studies. So if you head over to settings in iOS 13.2 and then privacy, check out this right here. We could have a leaked look at the new research app icon, but it's in all caps. Obviously that's not how it's gonna ship. This is still a beta with some bugs and issues, but it's going to show you all the apps that actually feed into the research kit framework right here, just as when they use your microphone or use your speech, camera, health kit, home kit, so on and so forth. You've got a new one right there, exclusive to iOS 13.2. Also in settings under general, this handoff section has been renamed to AirPlay and handoff. So if you tap on that, you have automatically AirPlay to TVs, never ask automatic, that's new. Transfer to HomePod is pretty cool. Uh, it's not functional on the HomePod just yet, but it should be soon whenever iOS 13.2 launches and the brand new HomePod firmware launches. You'll be able to just bring your iPhone close to the top of the HomePod like that and then transfer whatever's playing, which is super cool. But on top of that setting that we've always had, you've got these two new ones above. Although I feel like transfer to HomePod it's kind of a weird place to put it. Hidden inside of iOS 13.2 is also our first look at AirPods 3 or AirPods Pro. Now I already made an entire video talking about this, snaps the 9 to 5 Mac for finding this icon in G Rambo before anybody else, but AirPods 3, they're confirmed, they're official. This is our first look and uh, if you guys want more information, check out my full video linked up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. But yeah, this icon also new, just not user facing just yet. Inside of the TV app on iOS 13.2, 3D touch or haptic touch styling is a bit different. That's how it looks on 13.2. If I do the exact same thing on the exact same icon on 13.1.2, 
it does that. So that's sort of a, a pretty big change right there. This brings up an entire menu where this just brings it up really small and then you can tap on this to advance and view details where that's sort of the default in 13.1.2. Inside of the music app in iOS 13.2, there have been some UI changes for these two buttons, shuffle and repeat. So that's when shuffle was enabled on it prior to iOS 13.2. This is how it looks uh, a lot clearer to me when it's actually on 13.2. This is pretty much identical across both, but when you have those enabled, it just seems more obvious and more clear rather than being more subtle and not really appearing that you can touch it or interact with it on 13.1.2. Announce messages with Siri. Now, normally you could go over to the settings app and then tap right here on Siri and search to see this, but even though I have my AirPods 2 connected for some reason, it's not showing up here. So this is what it's gonna look like when it is fully implemented. This comes courtesy of a user over on Reddit. You can see, have Siri read messages without having to unlock your iPhone with second gen AirPods and some Beats headphones. So you can reply hands-free. It's gonna sound like this, super nice. And then Siri will read the message and ask you if you want to reply. And then down here is reply without confirmation where Siri will reply with whatever she thinks you said, even if it's not totally accurate. So uh, use that one with some discretion. When you're setting a wallpaper in iOS 13.2, Apple makes it a bit more clear what this button does. There's actually a text label rather than just a small icon. I was super confused, especially it gets way more complex when you go over to live photos. If you tap on one of these, You've got two buttons. Now, live photo is somewhat obvious because you've seen that icon in the camera app, but this other one never really made sense. So Apple says, hey, perspective zoom, on or off. Also, live photo, on or off. So in iOS 13.2, you know exactly what's going on with the situation of your wallpaper. Now, overall, stability-wise, iOS 13.2 feels pretty good, but I don't think it's gonna be as stable as, obviously, the public version 13.1.2 is right now. So if you're looking to update, either the developer or public beta, you probably will experience some issues, but I haven't noticed anything in your face or glaring. Like, battery life hasn't been exceptionally draining today. Nothing else seems totally off kilter. It just doesn't seem, you know, perfect so far, but that's expected. It's only iOS 13.2 beta one. I'm sure Apple has more up their sleeves, including potentially new emojis. I think this could be the emoji update, but we don't have any confirmation from Apple just yet. All right, guys, so that's what's new in iOS 13.2 beta one. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I've been Sam, and I'll see all of you in my next video.